Today we're going to show how to use the Microbit controller to control a robot, which is also has another Microbit controller, using the Bluetooth radio and the accelerometer inside the Microbit board. Right there. So this Microbit is all loaded up with the transmitting program which is very simple. If the micro bit is tilted this way, it will control the speed of the robot, and if it's tilted this way, it will turn the robot right or left. And uh, I, I put a start and stop on the robot by pushing both buttons at the same time. So when I push both buttons, it will start the robot. Okay, and now I tilt it more forward, it goes forward. I tilt it backwards, it goes backwards. I go forwards and turn. I turn the other way. Backwards and turn. Backwards and turn. So there it is. I'll turn around, come back towards me. Turn around. Turn it off. Push both buttons at the same time. Here's how I did it. I used the make code editor. And uh, this is the transmit program. That's the whole thing right there. This is the start routine. First I chose the Bluetooth channel to transmit and receive on. I chose number 33. Then I created a variable called turn on to tell the car to turn on or off. And I start with zero, which is off. This is the forever loop. And in this one I measure the acceleration in the X and Z directions. And I send the values over the radio. The X is going to measure the side-to-side -side tilting. The Z is going to measure forwards and backwards tilting of the microbit board. And the last part is the start and stop section, which uh, I do by pressing both A and B at the same time. So it says if it sees both A and B buttons pressed at the same time, then I switch the variable turn on from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 and I send the value over the radio. And here is the program for the receiver which is in the robot. Here's the start routine. I set the radio to receive on channel 33. For some reason it works better with the PID motor control turned off. Uh, and then I have the main loop, which is just what to do when it receives a radio signal. So it receives the uh, information as a name and a value. And if the name that it receives is turn on, if it receives a turn on uh, command, then set the turn on va uh, variable to the value that's specified. Then we have the main loop. If turn on equals one, that means if it's turned on, then do this whole next section. Do this whole next section here. If the variable received is x, then set the x value to the value specified. This will be used to turn the car right or left. I divide it by 16 to scale it, at, uh, scale it down to lower numbers. If the variable received is z, then set the Z value to the value specified. And this is used for forwards and backwards speed. And I divide it by negative eight to scale it down 
and I reverse the direction because it has tilting forward being negative and tilting backwards being positive, so I switch that around. Next I make the variables for the wheel speeds, R speed and L speed, and uh, I use Z as the base speed for both wheels, and I use X to turn by adding X to one wheel and subtracting it from the other. So if Z is positive, then I make the right wheel go slower by X, and I make the left wheel go faster by X. Otherwise, we're going backwards, I do the opposite. Next section makes the motors actually turn. If the speed of the left wheel is positive, then move the left motor in a forward direction. Speed, L speed. Otherwise, move the motor, left motor backwards with speed, L speed. And then I do the same thing for the right wheel. And then at the bottom, we have what to do if turn on is off, which is stop all the motors. And that's it.